Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Okay, a little bit of miscellaneous news. Ah, this is nice. Now, people want to, people always say, Loy, why don't you help the poor? Loy, why don't you help the poor? Here's the answer. Delhi, Baba from Dhaba files case against the YouTuber who put him into the limelight. Now, see the fun. This guy, this guy, his name is Vasan, had shot uh, the widely shared video of an elderly man and his wife on October 7th. So, this YouTuber shared um, a video saying, please help this poor man who's in his 80s or whatever who runs a famous Baba Kadhaba in South Delhi and uh, said, please buy from him. No sooner that he said that because he was crying, millions, uh, he became viewed by millions. People started coming to his place, gave him great business and they started donating money. Now, what this YouTuber did is he made a, uh, uh, you know, he made a GoFundMe or whatever bank account. He gave his bank account and whatever money that was received, he gave it to him. Now, did he give all the money is a big question. Did he give or not give? But now this old man, this old man who lives with the self entitlement that, oh, whatever money came is my money. Hey, fuck you. He made him famous. The YouTuber made him famous. He forgets that. He forgets the fact that he got into the limelight because of him. Whatever money he's getting, he's getting because of him. But instead of being fucking grateful, he's taking him to court. He is putting a police case on him and saying, I don't even want that money, I want all the money. You know, if it was me, I would just keep my fucking mouth shut and whatever money I get, I'd be happy. But this guy, see, this is the reason I don't help poor people because they are fucking rotten to the core. This old man, this seriously, this old man doesn't deserve any business, doesn't deserve any help. Let his business fucking collapse because he's selfish to the core. He's selfish to the, he's shown his real colors where, no, I don't want only this much. I want more. I want more. They don't understand that there is, there is, you know, a service level charge. There's a premium fee. Like if you uh, get some benefit, you give the other guy benefit. No, but this guy wants everything. And his claim is before I was making 10,000 rupees a day. Now I'm making three to 4,000. Man, you should be fucking grateful. He helped you. You're a fucking shameless human being. And I hope and pray nobody comes to your fucking uh, outlet. Nobody gives you anything. You don't earn anything. I just hope that you suffer the reality of what it was before this this guy helped you even if this guy took money even if this youtuber took money let him take he had the creative idea he had the mindset to help this guy so let him get some fucking benefit what is it if someone helps me and he takes a cut of all the commission uh, he takes a cut as a commission let's say for example he made me famous and now there are millions coming in and he gives me half take the fucking half because i'm getting my benefit this is a sense of entitlement. This is the reason nobody fucking wants to help these people. And this is the reason why Indian mentality, you know, Indian mentality, this is called Indian mentality for me. Okay. This is the man. This is why I don't help any poor people. And this is not the first time it has happened so many times. I've helped people with jobs and place them only for them to turn around and say, who, you know, what the fuck did you do? You didn't do anything great. You know, there are people who I literally give money and they said, oh, he, he tried to use me sexually. What? What the fuck are you talking? I gave them money. I gave them food. They were supposed to pay me. And when they were supposed to pay, they said, no, he tried to rape me. They, they blackmail. That is why I don't help anybody. Don't fucking help. So you're freeloaders. Pay money. I give the service. Bye bye. That's it. So this guy, this guy, this old man has shown how rotten he is to the core where his greed is so great that every drop of, uh, you know, blood that he wants, he wants it. So I hope this, this court case goes so long whereby this man will not be able to sustain and survive, run his business. When it closes down, he'll be grateful. Instead of working together with a YouTuber and trying to make money, you make money, I make money. He wanted all the money for himself. This is greed and I'm totally against this. And uh, people like this, they don't deserve any help. I'm, I support the YouTuber. I support the YouTuber, not this guy. I'm sorry. And last but not the least, Shah Rukh Khan's birthday, he turns 55. People send me this. I don't know why the fuck you send me this. Uh, he's an entertainer. He's an actor. I don't watch his movies. Um, for me, I absolutely respect the fact he's a great businessman. He's fucking filthy rich. He's a 
in, you know, he's a, okay, Indian brand, Indian brand that has gone international. But am I a fan of his movies? No, I don't watch his movies. I don't know his movies. The last movie that I remember seeing of him is uh, um, Dilwali, Dilwali, Duniani, uh, that DDLJ man. Uh, I don't know when that was. Uh, that was the last movie I saw of his or what I remember. I've I've never seen. I I'm not a fan of his <laughs> crying movies and you know maybe housewives and all that love this guy. My kind of actor is more Amir Khan with solid stories. So he's not. But but I can tell you one thing. As a brand, as a businessman, as a man who has made shitloads of money, he's fucking filthy rich. He knows how to play the game very well. So uh, him being 55, it doesn't fucking uh, concern me. He's a great actor uh, for the Indian audience. He's a fantastic businessman. He knows how to make money. He's very successful. But, uh, he, he, you know, he, his stuff, it doesn't resonate with me. I'm sorry, I don't watch his kind of movies and I don't see this this kind of stuff. Okay? So, he's 55. Someone sent me that. Uh, I don't give a damn about this. So